Hi there, this is Galen Martling. I'm here representing Unity Stamp Company with a vellum overlay for a card. I'm also going to show some emboss resist ink blending for the background. And so from Unity, I have two stamp sets. One is called in your in my thoughts girl and the other is love and wisdom background and so I'm using a misty stamping tool to go ahead and prepare a sheet of white cardstock for heat embossing so I just use a powder tool to make uh, anti-static um, features to the cardstock so that the embossing powder doesn't stick to areas it shouldn't and then I use an embossing ink pad to ink up that background and then I go ahead and heat emboss with white embossing powder and a heat tool to make that background set. It's hard to see right now but we're going to add some ink blending to make that background pop in a little bit. So for the next stamping while I've got my misty out I'm stamping the florals into a border shape on one end of this panel. This is not really trimmed to size, but I wanted a vellum border to be part of the card, maybe half of the card. So I'm going to stamp first in just a whimsical layout for the flowers. And then I'm not going to add any additional coloring at all. You see when I made a mistake, I, I stamped the sentiment upside down. So we're just going to use the florals upside down and it works just fine that way. I work with my mistakes. And then I go ahead and heat set that after I add the embossing powder and I'm not adding any additional coloring and set that aside to set and dry. And now I'm going to add some Distress Oxide ink blending in Cracked Pistachio by uh, Ranger. And so you go ahead and you just make lots of circular motions. I'm using Simon Says Stamp ink blending brushes for this. And you just go ahead and repeat this over and over. Now I wanted that top left corner to be darker because that's where my vellum is going to be and I wanted more color to show behind the flowers. So I added sort of an ombre look and a diagonal where the top is going to be mostly where the flower and sentiment is. So uh, before I heat and before I die cut this, I add waxed paper in between the embossing and the dye. And then I just go ahead and fasten it down with some sticky note tape. And then I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine to cut out that rectangle. Any dies will do, or you can just use your paper scissors, uh, your scissors to um, cut it out and trim it up. Uh, so there, you can also skip this process and use pattern paper, but I wanted to show how to combine these two techniques. And so I use a paper trimmer to just trim that floral card to size first, and then I'm going to fussy cut, which is just cut out with scissors. So that's about the size, about the size of the card background. And now I'm going to go ahead and use scissors just to trim around those flowers and the sentiment. And this is going to be placed right on top of the card base or the card front. Now for me, I just use clear double-sided tape, but I use this, the tape behind the stamping. So it shows up less. So anywhere they're stamping, I just put a little piece of tape or a little bit of tape behind the stamping and that holds to me it holds the vellum on nicely and it sort of hides that tape to being seen through the vellum it's not perfect but it's pretty good i use it all the time like that and there you go you have a really sweet card a floral card for almost any occasion i just topped it off with a few um, adhesive gems and there you go Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe and have a wonderful day.